Thank you, Hay and Paul. Thank you. This speech was to be an inspirational speech, and by gum, you did that. One of the things that I really like about Toastmasters is the challenge of having to evaluate an already really good speech. So I'm going to do my best here to give you some pointers on how to do better, but also point out some things that you did well. And in fact, the one thing I really want to point out, Paul, is the overall structure of your speech. And I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can in a two to three minute evaluation, but I'm going to try to get, teach everyone here a little bit about structure. For those of you who watch movies or watch plays, most of the time they're broken down into three acts. Act one, you're basically introducing the characters and the story and setting the stage for what's going to happen. Act two, something happens. There's some sort of conflict. There's some sort of dialogue. There's something going on. And you, as you get closer to the end of act two, you see that resolution of that conflict. And then act three, you wrap everything up. As far as Toastmaster speeches go, that act three is where you have your conclusion and you repeat what you had just told us. That's exactly what you did today, Paul. You gave us an introduction, you set the stage for us, you showed us the conflict that you went through, the derailer coming off and your wife coming up to, to give you some encouragement at that critical moment in the, in the race. And it was at that point when you had that turning moment. And then from there, you could transition into act three where you gave us some great takeaway points. Something I would like you to work on in the future, Paul, is to, so I, I gave the quick introduction of the objective for your speech, but you didn't allow the Toastmaster to introduce you. You just went right into your speech after that. I would recommend having the Toastmaster give you an introduction. And there are several reasons for doing that. One is that it, it helps with the flow of the meeting, the overall flow of the meeting, it gives the Toastmaster control over the meeting, but also it allows the Toastmaster to set, or you as the speaker, to set the stage for what's going to happen, it sets the mood. It can also help set you up with credentials. If you're talking about something technical or um, whatever might lend to giving you the credentials for the speech. So that's my recommendation for you going forward. The very last thing I want to suggest, Paul, or not suggest, but tell you is that your conclusion was very strong. It was very clear that you were done with your speech and you didn't have to hand control back over to the Toastmaster. You just said you left it off with live with love. I wrote this down because it's almost like a tagline that you might hear at the end of a newscast. Thank you and good night kind of a thing. Live with love. Maybe that's to be your closing for every speech going forward. Great job, Paul. You really did inspire us.